Indonesian tourist Fika Puspitasari considers herself and her friends savvy travelers. They recently took a nine-day road trip of the West Coast, starting and ending in her dream destination of San Francisco. When I was in elementary school, I watched the TV serial Full House, you know? As their travels brought them through Route 66, the Grand Canyon, and Southern California, some warned her group about crimes in San Francisco. We took the car from the car rental. Actually, the car rental officer already uh, told us to be careful, including the the hotel person in L.A. On April 8th, the day before their flight back to Indonesia, part of their group went to the Whole Foods along California and Franklin Streets to break their Ramadan fast. When they returned to their rental car, this is what they witnessed. Suddenly, one of my friends named, named Harry yelled and, hey, don't do that. Harry suddenly lay down on the floor because it turns that the robber pointed a gun at, at him. Several friends hid and recorded this video, which has since gone viral in Indonesia. Just two social media posts on Twitter getting more than 5 million views. Which prompted in part this alert from the Indonesian consulate in San Francisco, complete with instructions on what to do if you're attacked, broken into, or robbed. The consulate also issued alerts for other major cities, but the difference is the threat of property crimes. SSF suffered highest threat of car breaks in compared to uh, other cities, this warning has become uh, more frequent. It's something that worries Darlene Shu Bryant, head of Global SF, which identifies and attracts foreign investment to the Bay Area. She says just one viral video can have a major impact on the people of Indonesia and Southeast Asia and have lasting consequences for San Francisco. If they are making a lot more money now, right, increasing, increasing in terms of income, personal wealth, um, they will send their children overseas uh, for college or even starting with high school. And if they do not feel safe sending their children to San Francisco, for example, it's a loss of revenue for the universities here and also other income that comes with, hey, we're going to come and visit and all the tourism right, that comes along with it. The investment that I've seen always follows the children. The children come, they study, they make an investment, the family follows. Despite the trauma, Fika's friends are grateful their passports weren't taken and they were able to make it home. Would you like to come back to the city sometime? Come back maybe not in San Francisco, <laughs> maybe need time, but come back to America for other states maybe. They thank the customers who helped them call 911. SFPD says no arrests have been made and anyone with information should come forward. In San Francisco, Dion Lim, ABC7 News.